Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, man? Come on in, come on in. We chillin', we chillin', man. We back here to serve some more game on the ground for the Hunger Hounds. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope you guys are all having a good day today out there. My day's been my day's been okay, you know, my day's been alright. Been been it's been alright, you know, we just say it's been alright. Um, let me know how you guys' day's been down there in the comments below. If it was a good day, bad day. Regular day, extra day, productive day, lazy day, whatever the case may be. Uh, also, let me know where you guys are tapping in from so I can shout out your country, your state, or your city. You know, I always thought it was interesting how we could all be in the same program at the same time from different places around the world, basically in the same room with said person or same car in this case. You know, uh, it's crazy when you look at it from a different perspective. It's like you're looking through a portal that you can't that you can't walk through, you know. It's like you looking through a portal that you can't walk through or you can't reach through. It's crazy, man. It's how far technology has come. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, within the next 30 to 50 years or so, uh, the way technology is going, if we're still here, we're going to be teleporting. Yeah, we're going to be teleporting. We're going to have teleportation stations everywhere. You know, you walk in. It's like the one, Jet Li, the one. Y'all seen Jet Li, the one before? Uh, they got them... them uh, area set up where you can teleport to different worlds and stuff. I feel like that's how it's going to be in the next 30 to 50 years. Not necessarily to a different world, but, you know, around the world. It's crazy, man, because that's just what we do with technology. That's just what we'd be doing. You know, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have legit flying cars, you know, in the next 10, 15 years or so. I feel like that might be what happened. We get flying cars. Elon Musk going to figure out how to make a flying car one day. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. You know, he's going to try to fly out the earth, fly fly into space, you know, go land on the moon. And he's going to hit the glass dome that's above us, and he's going to come crashing down looking goofy. But, um, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get on with this topic, man. Uh, this, this, this is something that I cannot stand, you know, uh, when I see this happen, when, when this happens to me, and when I see this happen to other people, you know. Um, people don't know how to keep their hands to themselves. Because everybody these days, they feel like they're entitled to what the next person has, you know? Um, I don't care what it is, how small, how big it is, how little, how great. I don't care what it is. If it's not yours, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I had somebody try to take something of mine earlier today. Don't, don't, if it ain't yours and you ain't asked for permission for it, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Do not touch it. I will, I will, I will. You know, I will do some things that I can't really speak on here on this platform because TikTok won't allow it. But we'll just say that I'm a snap. I will snap. You know, if you if, if anybody is ever around me in person and you try to take something that ain't mine, I will snap on you for it if you ain't asked first. You know, and then if you try to ask afterwards, I'm just going to tell you no because you ain't asked in the first place. That's, that's what's wrong with people today is they think that, oh, because you have it that they should have, that they deserve and are entitled to having it too. That ain't the case, bro. That ain't the case. See, you didn't buy it. You didn't work for it. You didn't do none of that stuff for it. So why should you have it? You shouldn't have it. You know? It's like uh, participation trophies. Somebody come in first place, and the person who ain't placed at all, they think they should get a gold trophy too because they participated. That ain't that ain't it. If you ain't work and come in first place, you don't get no first place gold trophy. If you ain't paid for it, if you ain't work hard for it, don't take what don't belong to you. Keep your hands to yourself because I promise you if you try to take something from the wrong person, they will have less patience than I will. They will be less lenient than I will. And they'll probably just put you in, they'll just probably put you in the ground right then and there because there's some people who have absolutely zero tolerance for people who got sticky fingers. And I can't stand people with sticky fingers. If it ain't yours, don't touch it. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've done told people that. If it ain't yours, don't touch it i can't stand it when people take stuff that don't belong to them especially if they didn't pay for it especially if they didn't work for it if they didn't earn it if they didn't do anything for it don't touch it don't even touch it don't even put your finger on it if it ain't yours if you didn't ask, if you ain't asked don't touch it that's a hundred percent facts I don't care who you are. I don't care what your status is in the world and society. I don't care if you're the president. If you're, if you're, I, I wouldn't care who you are. If it ain't yours, do not touch it. I don't care if you're the baddest female in the world. If it ain't yours, don't touch it. You don't get special privileges because just because of who you are, or what you look like. No, no, you ain't paid for it. You didn't work for it. You ain't touching it. I don't care. I'll.
smack that hand off of my stuff. I don't care. That's my stuff, and I'm protecting my stuff. I don't care who thinks this thing's you or not. If you didn't ask, if you didn't ask for anything that's mine, don't touch it. You know, I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You make a big mistake. Well, you might even lose a hand or two. But uh, yeah, man, that's why I want to get on here and talk about people need to learn to keep their hands to themselves. People got sticky fingers. People have an entitled mindset to whatever it is that you have, man. I, I, ooh, boy, 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 boy. Uh, uh, uh. No, sir. You are not entitled to what the next person has because the next person has worked harder to get what they have, harder than you have, you know. Uh, this ain't equal rights, equal fights out here. No, nah, no. Nah. This ain't equal rights, equal earnings. No. Nah. See, if you ain't working hard to get what I've worked, if you ain't working hard to get what I got, why should you get what I got? Why should you take what's mine if you didn't work for it, you know? If you challenge me to something and you beat me at it, you know, and that was the stakes, then yeah, go ahead. By all means, take it because you earned it. But if you ain't did none of that and you just try to take it, don't. I will. I will fight you over it. I don't care how small or little it is. It's not about what it is that you're taking. It's the principle, and it's the morale of it. It's the principle of the the situation. You're taking something that don't belong to you, so don't do it. With that being said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up on out of here. Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else you know. And I'll be right back with the next episode. Deuces.